Good morning, you guys. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny if you are new here and today's video is going to be my morning routine as a stay-at-home mom of one kiddo. So first off, I want to say my mornings are going to look very different from the mornings of moms with multiple children or even like working moms. I do have a job, but I'm just a substitute teacher. So I consider myself kind of like an on-call worker. If they need me for the day, they will call me either the night before or the morning of. So it's not a very consistent job. Therefore, I consider myself stay at home most of the times. My day normally starts whenever our puppy, Lily, she is a nine month old chocolate lab, starts howling and crying that she has to go outside that very second. Typically, it's from 6 in the morning until 6.45. This morning, it was like 6.20, I believe. And as soon as I'm done letting her out, I will start my coffee, I will open up my windows, I will charge my watch or anything else that would need to be charged, and then I go ahead and get ready for my morning. So on the days that I wake up before Lily, I will hop in the shower and get a really quick morning shower. I am such a morning shower type of person because then I get to wash my face and just kind of like relax in the shower before starting my day. So I did brush my teeth and I did use some mouthwash like I do every single morning. And then of course I need to put my contacts in and brush my hair and just kind of get a little bit put together. I don't ever really do makeup or anything crazy in the mornings. So glad that you said hi. Cause I was way too shy What would have happened if you just had passed me by the night We keep on drinking Keep on wishing For someone out there to hold All those little moments The bus you didn't catch me looking over your shoulder ready i'm whispering because ilana is still sleeping um i am gonna go wake her up in a little bit i will not be showing that part though just because the room is dark and she takes forever to wake up just like i do she gets that from me So immediately after waking up my daughter Ivana, I will go ahead and make her breakfast and then on her cold lunch days, I will also get her cold lunch started. Typically for breakfast, she'll get um, mini pancakes or like peanut butter and honey sandwiches. She picked Fruity Pebbles on this morning. I don't typically let her have Fruity Pebbles, but it's like a once every now and then type of quote unquote treat for her. But Every time I make her breakfast, I have to include at least like two different types of fruit. That way I know she's getting some good healthy foods to start her day off good. And I always offer her a glass of milk also. In this case, it was with her cereal. But typically, if she's having mini pancakes, she will get a glass of milk. And a lot of the time, she doesn't really drink it, but it's okay. Well, maybe it was fate or a part of his plan giving me Good morning. Here's your berries. you guys Ivana has a little less than five minutes on her timer so I'm done. you're all done yeah, I just, I just eat the yeah that's fine so now I'm gonna take her backpack and I'm gonna go start the car that way it's somewhat warm but I always wear Jacob's boots because they come up to my knees that way I don't get snow like on me So far. 
frost it in here. That was my breath. It's that cold. One thing that is always timed um, in our mornings is Ivana will always have breakfast at 7 or 7.05 and she'll have breakfast until about 7.25 and then right after that it's like we get her ready for school then we get her hair done and we put on her snow gear since we do live in Wisconsin and we do need to wear snow gear. It gets so cold here you guys but as soon as we get to school she does go outside and play for outside recess so just having her snow gear on right away in the morning makes her have a longer recess if that makes sense but yeah we go ahead and we get that going and typically we try to leave the house around 7 35 it doesn't always happen though more times than not we're leaving way later than we should be like on this day i don't think we left until close to 7 47. I'm poof. I am so tired today. I really, really am. I also really need to wash my hair. That sun over there, it looks so pretty. Oh, you guys, I just got home from dropping off Ivana. I'm gonna go inside. I have a couple things to do today, like right away in the morning. But yeah, I'm gonna have to take a shower and wash my hair. And then I have my nail appointment today at 11. Thankfully, it's literally just like two blocks up the road. So I don't have to like leave my house an hour early or 30 minutes early or anything and i'm gonna get rid of these nails i've had these on since before we went to disney on ice so like the very beginning of february and i wanted it pink and white for like valentine's day but like i don't know they're really cute you can see that they're pretty outgrown i need to get my butt in gear but i'm just so tired this morning as soon as I get home from dropping off Ivana, I will immediately feed the dogs. Um, this is Lily, our chocolate lab, who actually refuses to eat her food outside of her kennel now. I don't know when that started, but as you will see in later clips, she will not eat her food or even like nibble on her food unless it's inside of her kennel. But if it's out on that gray mat on the floor, she will not eat it. I don't know when that started, but it's just, it's weird. After the dogs have been fed and they had gone outside for their potty break and they're playing around in the living room normally that would be when i go ahead and start my breakfast not this morning though because i was going absolutely insane with my sink full of our dishes and that was completely my fault normally i'm the type of person that i need to wake up to like a clean kitchen in an empty sink the week that i filmed this video was quite possibly the busiest and craziest week and jacob was not home at all because he actually went down to florida so it was just me and myself and i having to get everything done by myself and the dishes were definitely put on last if i were to have a dishwasher i feel like i would absolutely be running that every single night but i don't and i just yeah i don't even know i just Put the dishes off i did not want to do them but i had to do the dishes first in order to be able to make my breakfast because i had used like every single pan that we own for some reason i'm thinking you were made for me it's in my birthday yeah because i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby get in my way now don't be shy we'll be here dancing day and Be the first and the second and the third and the rest 
Okay, I gotta do this quick before my battery dies. This is my breakfast for today. I normally have, well, actually, I have this breakfast literally almost every single day. It's just an English muffin, two eggs, some heated up ham, and cheese, two slices of cheese. I normally have some berries with this, but I think today I'm gonna have a yogurt. And then I refilled my coffee, and then I got my water, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat for breakfast today. It is now 9.18, so I'm gonna eat quick and then shower and then I should be good. Like I had mentioned in the beginning of this video, I am normally a first thing in the morning type of shower person or a right before bed type of shower person. I don't typically ever shower midday unless I have somewhere to be and my hair needs to be washed. And that's exactly the scenario in this video. I had my nail appointment at 11 in the morning and my hair was definitely in need of a good washing. And then these next few clips are typically my after shower routine. It's everything that I do every single time that I wash my hair and then I will end up getting ready. I was actually telling a story to the camera when I was filming my like makeup part of this portion of the video um but I decided to not include that just because it was kind of a pointless story not gonna lie and it was just so long like I am good at rambling on and on about complete nonsense half the time My days aren't ever the same. Like some days I will have a lot of stuff going on where I will either be out of the house a good portion of the day while Ivana is in school. Other days I'll spend the entire time cleaning. And then other days I will honestly just kind of lounge around. I will edit YouTube videos. I will finish up my book or two. My days include a lot of free time. Even though that probably does sound kind of amazing and luxurious, it kind of sucks. I get really bored. I get stir crazy. I would much rather be out there where I could socialize with people but with me being a substitute teacher every once in a while works a lot better for my family especially since my husband is an over-the-road trucker and he is gone quite a bit it just makes more sense Everything's off. Got my rings on. I just have to put some sunscreen on and take Lily out and then I'm gonna hit the road. I'm not gonna close the video out right now because I do not have time, but I will do it as soon as I get back. So I just came home from getting my nails done. I actually managed to make it on time. It's so nice being just two blocks away from my nail lady. I want to show you my nails that I got done and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen them. But if you did enjoy today's video, please consider subscribing and joining our little corner of the world here on YouTube. It would mean the absolute world to us, especially since we are starting to come back to YouTube. I am feeling so good about being back to YouTube. I've been having so much fun. And yeah, um, my day ended at my nail appointment because that was at 11 and it is now 1. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.